Welcome to the weather forecast for the week beginning Wednesday, February 1st. Welcome to February 2023. I'm Chief Meteorologist John Ensworth at Longmont Public Media. Sunday, February 5th will be our full moon. It's going to be pretty cool and spooky out there, shining on whatever uh, snow is left, but there probably will be a lot of snow left. The sun is very quiet on this side right now, very tiny little spots and very little activity. Looking at drought, we have drought-free conditions for most of the western half and things are slightly improving out on the eastern plains. Some more snow and is hit out there. Nationally, the west gets a little better, so does uh, parts of the Ohio Valley and Mississippi Valley. So, good news, just let's keep the moisture coming in across the nation. Looking at snow, it's also in really good shape. Heading through time in my crude animation here. And up, oh, I thought I could stop in the right spot. Um, up to February 1st, so this is really current data, we have 131% uh, of normal. It's up in this area. Uh, the highest it's ever been is this purple. Go get the snow that we had uh, Saturday into Sunday. It, uh, didn't earn me a snow day, unfortunately, but it was about an inch, inch and a half around Longmont, about an uh, inch to three across Boulder, lots of variation there. And the next day we got another third of an inch in brutally cold temperatures, very fluffy, very little moisture in it, and about a half to three quarters of an inch, there's an inch there, um, in Boulder. For water content, there wasn't much water content in that storm, the mountains got hit really well again. The mountain snowpack is just fantastic. If you look at some of these basins here, I bet they're over 200% now. I'll have to try to remember to do that next week. For severe weather, there's actually thunder sleet and thunder freezing rain occurring uh, down in Texas. It is a ice fest down there. Slight risk in the uh, southern states, stuff that would across Florida, very quiet. There's the region of uh, freezing rain. It's mammoth. So I expect lots of power outages and difficult stuff like that. Rain on the southern edge where it's finally warm enough. Going to Thursday, the freezing rain just keeps on going. And then Friday it finally clears out and they can uh, start to chip their way out. Not much smoke at all. Great news. Just full of good news this time. Uh, normal temperatures going from 44 to 45. I don't know why that slipped down there, but it should be the end of the line. And 17 to 18 at night. So we we'll see the warm up climatologically beginning. Nothing really visible until 7th and then the 10th. Uh, right now, this is the tropical moisture coming in over the very, very cold air. The stuff that we just have been dealing with and just generating ice, ice, ice down there. We have uh, clear skies here moderate amount of moisture in the atmosphere. It's giving us some clouds, making that comet difficult to see. But I did catch it in binoculars to see uh, two nights ago, I think. So the next notable storms at all, we did have a really nice one in the models uh, for Sunday into Monday. I'm sorry, Monday into Tuesday next week that could have given us a Tuesday snow day, but it's completely or almost completely faded out. So the next one is Wednesday, Thursday, more than a week from now. You can see it's kind of a southern and eastern uh, Colorado uh, storm, but that far away, this storm of the storm, anything's possible. So we might still have a, a mid to late week storm to deal with there. And then we have a trough coming down as that pulls up just about day and a half later. And this one brings cold air. This is the first shot of cold air after the current one departs in just the next day from recording. So next Friday noon we get cool again. And wide area of snow, we'll see this in the animation, uh, could give us light snow for a couple days. So here we go. Away goes the uh, trough. We get a ridge building back and we warm up very quickly by the end of the week. There's Saturday and another ridge coming in Sunday. So a very nice weekend. Some melting finally will be going on. Then we go to Monday. That was going to be Monday storm, and it did what the other one did a week and a half ago. It's going south. So it's in New Mexico. 
typical pad handle and then uh, finally kick some stuff off southeast of us and there's the shot for the second storm on Friday. And then we go back to ridging beyond that. All right, so take a look at this really cold air that's been sitting on us for a few days. There's another shot coming out of Canada, but it's missing us entirely and going for New England and the Great Lakes. And we warm up a lot. All those reds are above normal temperatures for that location on the Earth. And we just stay warm. The whole nation warms up. Even Texas will get to do some melting. We see little purples in the mountains of Wyoming and Colorado with a big thick snowpack. A little shot of cold as that first storm comes in and the second one brings down some more cold. It's, it, yeah, it's pretty chilly. It's not what we just had. But it's, it's down there. And it kind of sloshes away. So there's the pink and freezing rain, widespread freezing rain. It pulls out on Friday from Texas. We are high and dry through the weekend. Watch that next storm <coughs> come into the Pacific Northwest. And then on Monday, nothing really happening in the West at all. Just little, little pockets of precipitation here and there. And then by Tuesday, Wednesday, that low starts to tighten up, get a hold of some moisture, and it just misses the I-25 corridor. And then the next shot of cold air comes in, and there's a lot of patchy snow for a couple days. But again, a week and a half away, a week away, uh, anything can change with that. The next five days, very dry, tiny, tiny amounts of snow up in the mountains. Over the next 10 days, there's all that southeast uh, precipitation, and southeast snow. It's very impressive, 10, 12 inches of snow. This is great for the farmers. So we warm up to normal, uh, 48, 47s and 46s through either side of the weekend. So we have this tiny chance of snow on Monday. I'm giving it 20%. Not too excited about it. It looked big about five, six days ago, and now it's nothing. We are at the beginning of a new month, so here's the National Weather Service forecast. Equal chances of above or below normal temperatures, cold stuff to the north, warm out east, and equal chances for wet versus dry, dry in the southern tier states and wet in the north. Longmont Leader, Broomfield Leader, frequent weather updates and local news, it's great. Check it out. This has been Chief Meteorologist John Ensworth. Keep looking up.